Hello and welcome to module eight, a stateless automatic um, auto configuration and DHCP version six. So we're gonna call it Slack and DHCP version six. This is specifically for IPv6 um, IP addressing uh, assignments. All right, so don't forget to write your notes and submit them when you're all done. All right, so let's get started. And let's start talking about the um, the IPv6 GUA assignment. GUA stands for the Global Unicast Address. So write the following down, what I say. Um, usually IPv6 GUA or GUA, the U Global Unicast Address, is configured using the command IPv6 add, like we've done it before on the router and enable dy dynamically on a PC. So on a PC, you really don't have to do this automatically. When you have um, this button right here, clicked on by default, your router doing Slack will go to the um, default gateway, get, get the prefix, fill it up, and it will make up its own um, host ID, right? Using the EUI or randomly picking a number in there. And once it's done that, it will do the DAD, the, um, the duplicate address detection, right? And to double check to make sure that it's unique. And that's it. If you want to put it statically, you just click right here, just like we did it with the um, IPv4, and just type your address. Make sure that your numbers are in hexadecimal. The prefix is slash 64. So that means this is the first slash 64 bits. And this is your default gateway. All right, but typically the default gateway is the LLC, the link local address. All right, um, on, the other, on the client side, so write the following down. Host will use the um, IPv6 router assignment, RA, to help in the auto configuration. And the percent sign that you see at the end the percent sign and the number at the end of the LLC, the link local address is known as the zone or scope ID. This is used by the operating system to associate it with the LLA with a specific interface. So anything after the percent and the number, that's not for us to worry about. This number all the way up to here is what we need to know. All right, um, moving on. All right, so the dynamic, <clears throat> the dynamic GUA assignments. So they, either you could do stateless or stateful. And please just write the following then stateless, just write the definition. No device is tracking the assignment of IP addressing. So that's just um, nobody keeps track of what they're giving you. Stateful, DACP version 6 server is managing the assignment of the IPv6 addresses. All right, uh, and also then write, if you're gonna go stateless, you can either do Slack only, or you can do Slack with DHCP. If you're gonna go stateful, you're doing DHCP version six server, and, uh, and that's it. Slack doesn't give you anything. They just tell you to go, and here's the information to get to your server. All right, so just write the following down. Uh, it is preferable that you take these notes and understand the difference between them using the router, advertisement and the router solicitation, RS, and so on. All right, so let me explain what that is. So on the Slack, the router sends an RA. Uh, the router sends an RA message. RA stands for router advertisement. Messages. So router sends an RA message is providing all IPv6 addressing information, such as the network prefix, network length, and the default gateway information. And the host, host will use the RA information exclusively for their addressing, including creating their own, their own GOA. Now, the Slack with stateless DHCP server, that's the second part, router sends an RA message is provided, provides the IPv6 configuration information to host and inform them to contact the stateless DHCP server for additional configuration information. The host will use the RA information to create their own unique GUA and get additional 
information from the DHCP server. Now, if it's if you're talking about a stateful DHCP server, this is for, this is the one that manages the assignments of the IPv6 addresses. Now, with that, our uh, router RA messages inform the host to contact the DHC, the stateful DHCP server or DHCP enabled router for all IPv6 configuration information, except the default gateway address. You get that from Slack. Host will contact the DHCP ver version 6 server to acquire all of their IPv6 addressing information. Hosts will obtain default gateway information from the RA messages always. All right, so the default gateway is always, they get that from the Slack from the RA. All right, now, now we get here to the three messages. So please write the three messages down. I'm sorry, the RA message flags. That's what I'm trying to say. So, Flags A, O, and M, all right? Flag A is the address auto configuration. Flag signifies is to use the stateless address auto configuration Slack to create the IPv6 GOA. So when this flag is on and the other and the O and the M is off, that means your router is telling you that you are going to get everything Slack is gonna do the work for you. If the O is on, the other, Oh, the O flag is the other configuration flag that signifies the additional information is available from the stateless DHCP server. And the M flag is the managed address configuration flag, which signifies the use of this useful, um, st I'm sorry, stateful DHCP version, uh, DHCP version 6 server to obtain the IPv6 GUA. All right. So combination of A, O, and M. Um, RA messages from the host will inform you about what type of how to configure your device. All right, so let's talk about the Slack. Um, by the way, just to go back one more before we continue. Just want to spend just a little tiny bit. Okay, so if A is equal to 1, and O and, and O and M are equal to zero, that means um, in for, if A is one, that means the client is to use the IPv6 GUI prefix in the RA and dynamically creates his own, all right? Uh, when O is zero and M is zero, that means you're informing the client to use the additional information in the RA message, okay? All right, so anyway, we'll look at this more uh, down the road as we continue. Okay, when it comes to Slack, here's what I want you to write the four points as following. It's stateless. In other words, nobody keeps track of the information that is given to you. Sends periodic ICMP version 6 RA messages every uh, 200 seconds. A host can send an RS, which stands for what? Router solicitation. Uh, he sends that at, at the address FF02, colon, colon, two, all routers. This is a multicast, which is actually a broadcast message to the RA. So the host can send an RS requesting an RA. All right. And number four, it can be deployed without a DHCP server, version six. All right. How do you enable Slack? Well, configure the default gateway with LLA and a GUA. So you got to do that first. So you go to the... Um, Default gateway of the router, and you enable link local address and the global unique, uh, I'm sorry, unique address, right? Unicast address. So that's number one. Number two, you're writing this down. That's how we are enabling Slack. Step number two, host will generate a 64-bit host ID using the EWI or randomly generated address. Uh, address. And number three, the host will use an NS, neighbor solicitation, neighbor advertisement, back and forth, uh, to, you, to find out the DAD, the duplicate address detection. All right? The chance of having this duplicate address is almost impossible because you got 64-bit, and even if you randomly picked up a host ID, it's almost impossible that someone else randomly picked the same as you. But you, can still, you still have to do it by... By default, your, your router will send out and say, hey, does anybody pick up this host ID or not? All right. Uh, 
Now, let's talk about the DHCP. Okay, so that's that. So when you're doing Slack, you have A equal 1 and O and M equal to 0. All right, so now let's look at, this is the messages going back and forth, and this is using the DAT. Right, okay, now let's talk about the DHCP version 6. Here's what you need to write down. Um, it is stateful. That means it does not require Slack while the stateless, while stateless does. Uh, number two, when RA indicates it requires a DHCP version 6, number one, here's, here's what you need to know. The host sends an RS message, so a router solicitation message. The router responds with an RA, router advertising message. The host sends a DHCP solicit message. Then the DHCP server responds with an advertise message. The DHCP server responds with an advertise message. The host responds with the DHCP server. To the DHCP server, the DHCP server sends a reply message. So all of that communication back and forth, and shaking before you get any information from your DHCP server. Now remember this: the DHCP server uses UDP port five forty six. And the client uses the 47, 547. So here's, please write these down. In DHCP version 4, the server uses um, 67, and the client uses 68. In IPv6, um, the server uses 546, and the client uses 547. All right, another thing you need to know. A stateless IPv uh, DHCP server, the RA flag messages are, so you write this down. So when you're using um, stateless IPv6, Slack with IPv6, the flags have to be A is 1, O is 1, and M is 0. So when you get those three flags like that, you are doing uh, stateless DHCP. Oper uh, DHCP. Okay? Um uh, to enable stateless DHCP on an interface, write this down too. You have to type the command IPv6 space ND space um, other dash config dash flag. When you do that, you immediately go to set the O flag to one. All right, the command no IPv6 ND other other dash da, uh, other I'm sorry other dash config dash flag will set the O back to zero. Okay, so that's good to know. And number five, write this down too. For stateful DHCP, the RA flag messages are A0, O0, and M equal one. So that's good, that you need to know. So when the flags are zero, zero, one, you're gonna be using DHCP stateful operation. Uh, and by the way, you probably want to have a DHCP separate, your router. We're not going to do, at least not in this course, well, maybe we'll see, that the router is going to act as the DHCP server. You can have your own DHCP server separately connected to, um, to the switch. All right, number six, well, the last thing I want you to write is to enable the stateful DHCP version six on an interface, you type the command, um, IPv6 space ND space manage dash config dash flag. When you type this command, you are going to set the M flag to one. All right. So we'll stop right here and we'll continue with configuring the DACP server on the next video. So write everything I asked you to write up and I'll see you on the next video.